so close. I want, can you, it would be nice if you get like city by city defensive packs. Because I would only want a defensive pack for the one city that's near Brazil. But would they be interested? Defensive pack. So that would force me to go to war with Genghis Khan. Can, can I just... Oh, so you have to trade defensive packs. Okay, I see. So now if Genghis Khan goes to war with me, Brazil should protect us, and he will protect us in wars against anybody else. So musket men can upgrade into riflemen. These cannons can move to the high ground. And then maybe once we take out all of the Portuguese cities over here, we can start invading the Portuguese cities over here. And these are the ones that we'll actually want to take. Oh, but she does have a lot of cities, especially going this way. We could attack from two directions, though, because it looks like they're weak on that side. Crossbowmen, more of them. We upgraded to Gatling guns. These can be upgraded to riflemen. We need a lot more gold. You know what? This Lancer can move over to the forefront of the battle. Or should he be sent over to the other side to harass what is going on? Yeah, I'll just have you go here, start harassing this one city as a holy site. I think that's why there's faith there these safari units so they moved in for the attack and they saw the defense we had so they pulled out I really like Turfin being a pretty much militaristically occupied city by Brazil. Oh, we have tourism because of... There's six tourism. Wow, I didn't know that we had any tourism. Okay, so it looks like they're trying to attack us. Mm -hmm. If we set up for range attack now, we can start picking off at them. They can just stay on alert. This Lancer can move down here to start harassing this city. You just wait a turn because I want to see if they decide to advance. It's interesting that they still only have pikemen though. Oh. Okay. So it looks like they're getting into our territory, either way you put it, but this cannon don't need cover. They really need is accuracy and then to move them back to the road.
Wow, okay. And we will convert them. Make sure it worked. Yes, it did. That's interesting. Yeah, we're going to need to leave our riflemen down here. Still can't hit them from way out there. Okay, so they're most likely going to pillage some tiles, but we should get this cannon to occupy Osaka in a few turns. Not too worried about the Ethiopia. Whoa. Okay, and we didn't contribute at all to that. So, first, let's move the cannon to the city. move the Gatling gun there and let's move that cannon there so our cannon scared away their riflemen surprisingly enough so where's the next move for this great prophet we could bring it over here I know for sure we want to back that up. Get that decisive victory on them. Just weaken them up since they're in immediate contact with the city. And they can fortify until it's healed. Okay. Oh, we can make a faith purchase. Right, can't do anything there. How much unhappiness do you get if you annex the city? That would be good to know exact numbers at a time like this. So they use their upgrade to heal and it looks like they're attempting to march past Osaka and head for the capital which is a interesting move since no civilization has even attempted to do that before that is actually a very interesting move And we are only two points behind Wuzatan. Definitely weaken what we can. Take out the superior unit. Um, I think we're 
we're going to want you to move down one space and set up for range attack. These riflemen. This is open terrain that they're most likely going to be fighting in. Thanks to all of our roads, we can get them over there quickly. Okay. Get them to this city state. Okay, so that's where their riflemen and cannon are. Wait, did that just say decisive victory against the swordsman? Oh, we could actually do that. So that was actually a really good move because we can cut off all their forces. We're going to want them to take a step back actually because we don't want an easy attack by these safaris. And now we are almost in last place. Thanks to Wuzatan. But that is okay because we are still working on our war efforts are they actually going to take out our riflemen? are you serious? oh no they're not wait yes they might no they won't those riflemen shouldn't be alive I'm just going to say that now but it's amazing that they are and 41 city strength right here. Okay, here we go. Definitely going to have them heal instantly. And then we're going, going to back them up a little bit. And then, oh yeah, Great Prophet. Move down this way. What other unit gets a promotion? Let's get Barrage. So we can get rid of that Pikeman unit. Thanks to the Citadel, they took damage. We got a great, great general, Robert E. Lee. So we're going to get good bonuses. So we can attack that safari with the city attack. Move the cannons back to the high ground. Okay, these cannons. attack those cannons because I don't like any anybody's cannons being on high ground and get that decisive victory and let's move back a space and fortify and I still don't understand how that one tile isn't in our territory We could actually move them to there because we get a bonus for them having to attack over a river. And this is how you defend against superior military, more or less. So now they're retreating. <clears throat> 